Hmm. Greetings, Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So you've got Uranus, albeit retrograde, in your first house. Elements of unpredictability. And I mean, really, here in the pandemic land and all that, <clears throat> who would have thunk, you know? Yeah, it's, it's rough times, but um, there are many good people out there working on making things better. I mean, Virgo time for a Taurus is time to be in the heart, right here, you know, heart chakra, folks. Um, so you want that, you know, you want that heart connection. Um, if you have children, this is where you really communicate with them, do things with them, have fun with them. Or if you're a teacher, this is a good position to be in to get your teaching skills down. And um, But it's most of all staying in the heart. Expressing yourself creatively. Having fun. And using your own leadership ability to get to where you need to go. Okay. All right. So, um, <clears throat> so Mercury is transiting your sixth house. This is a good time to get yourself in better health. Mars is in the twelfth house, you know, retrograde. So, I mean, definitely spiritual purification. Maybe doing a backpacking trip out in the wilderness to kind of cleanse yourself. But you know, you have to. Sometimes they say you got to watch out for secret enemies and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Um, so Neptune and Sun are opposing each other right now. Pisces, Virgo. So we want truth to take a stance against delusion. But we also want our spiritual faith to soften a lot of our harshness that we have towards ourselves and each other as fellow humans. So that's where I see the conflict. Um, other than that, you know, Venus and Leo, it's like you love being at home right now. I think the emphasis this week is family. <coughs> and the new moon will um, just make your heart feel so much better. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, mm-hmm. Yes, indeed.